So in this video today we'll be talking about the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I'll focus more on the 25, 30, and 35 because those are the ones that I own. But there's another size called the 40 which I do not own because I have key balls and the 40 is just huge. Now this my wine love mama. When I decided I wanted to get a luxury handbag and I thought okay Louis Vuitton, my mind went to where your mind probably went. The Louis Vuitton Speedy. It's iconic. It's the first thing you think about when you think Louis Vuitton besides the never full. But after owning the bag for a couple years, my son is three now, I can really tell you about the usability, functionality, all that good stuff about the bag from a mom's point of view. Or anyone that's really on the go that doesn't get to use their hands all the time. So anyway, so the Louis Vuitton Speedy comes in a couple different sizes, 25, 30, 35, and 40. It comes in a variety of different prints. You have special prints like Mod Monogram, Steven Sprouse, graffiti collection. Um, the more, the most common ones that you'll see is Damiera Azura, which is that white cream checkered pattern. You'll hear the Damiera Ben one, which is the brown and dark brown checkered pattern. And then of course the iconic Louis Vuitton monogram. So in this video, we'll talk about the different bags you can purchase, pros, cons, features, usability, my thoughts on it, and also a little bit of history about the bag. So let's start off first with history. The Louis Vuitton Speedy, let me get the classic one. So this is a Speedy 25, and I'll tell you a little bit more about why the Speedy 25 is, I think, my the most iconic one. So Louis Vuitton Fashion House was making a variety of different items ever since they were started in the 1800s, but in 1924, they introduced the Louis Vuitton Keepall. Now, it was their duffel bag, which was very iconic for that time because a lot of people traveled with steam trunks, and so having an actual duffel bag, which you guys saw my video, I'll link it somewhere up in here. The duffel bag was revolutionary for travel. But when it came down to, um, you know, people that were using the bag, they were like, you know, we need something that we want to use for regular use or those extra little bits and bobs before you hop on a train. So then they invented the Speedy 30, which at the time was called the Express Bag. Now the Speedy, classic Speedy did not come with these. Um, this is the bandolier version but I'm just showing you for size. So the Express Bag, more commonly known now as the Speedy, was named for its use in Speedy Express travel. So people had their key ball, they had their sting luggage, and then they also had their little uh, Speedy on their hand when they were traveling. But in the 1950s, starlet Audrey Hepburn said, you know what, that bag's nice but I would really like something that I can use for my daily use and enter classic speedy 25 and classic monogram. So you'll see this bag on Audrey Hepburn's arm and she, I think with her influence, her class and her fashion sense, she single-handedly propelled the Louis Vuitton speedy into iconic status for generations to come. When you think Louis Vuitton classic wear, speedy. So anyway guys, Let's talk about the features of this bag. So the Louis Vuitton Speedy comes in various different prints we discussed earlier, but usually has gold hardware. Now with vintage bags, it'll come with brass hardware like this one, but when you have newer bags, it'll come with just gold plated hardware, gold tone hardware, which as um, I'll get into a wear and tear video eventually, it doesn't wear as well as the brass as you find in older models. So as far as features of the bag, you have your chaps here, you have a little pull tab, a little place here which you will put your lock. Now if you're looking for the date code of this bag, you'll find it under the pocket on the right hand side if you're facing you and it will be um, printed on the little piece of leather underneath there. So these are your, the features for your classic speedy bag. Notice there's no leather going down the sides here. You just have your rolled handles and you're just holding it. Now, if you're talking about the Speedy and the Bandolier version, you have leather going down the sides. You have your heat stamp here on the bag, as well as the sizing heat stamp here. You have double zippers here. You have your chaps. This one has puffy chaps. You have your leather. I think the Damier Bin ones now are either matte or shiny leather. They're matte now. The Damier Brim ones now are matte. This is a bit of a shine leather because my bag is a little bit older. 
You have the two-tone hardware here, which a lot of people do not know when it comes to the Louis Vuitton bandolier bags that the hardware will be two different types. You'll have a shiny hardware, you'll have more of a gold colored hardware, and a lot of people will think, oh, is my bag fake? I see in the Louis Vuitton groups all the time. Why is my hardware a different color? It's a different color just because they made it that way, <laughs> but it does not mean your bag is fake. There's a lot of different things that go into a fake bag. So you have your imprint here. It goes into your strap. It is a three-part connector strap, which I really like because you can wear it as a shoulder bag. More, more importantly, when it has the double, you just take the little part out here, use it as a single strap, or you can use it as crossbody with the full strap. Now, I really feel like the Speedy 30 is better suited to be a um, shoulder bag, not really crossbody because of my frame. Now, I would say the Speedy 25 is better suited for crossbody or, you know, date night, top handle carry like that because it is a very petite bag. Now, for me, I am 5'5", five five, so this bag is perfect for me because it is a petite bag. The Speedy 30 is great for if you're carrying a little bit more. But honestly, as a mom, I prefer the Speedy 25 bandolier crossbody. I do have one, I just didn't put it on this video because it's just a lot of bags. Let's talk about the Speedy 35. So mine is modified. I have painted the leather parts on here and I added a strap. Check my video out on how I, exact, I did it exactly. It has the same features of the, as the 25, but I just changed the leather. I just changed the leather, added some rivets here, but the inside is the same, and I took off the little classic part, but look at all that room in there. So no luxury item is perfect, and they continue to raise the price on these items, but I will tell you guys my favorite, one well, of my most important pros and cons of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. This is a classic, semi-affordable bag. Um, it is an, a great starter piece, it is iconic, you can find so many of these pre-loved because people get it as their starter piece before they move on to different things. It is, the and if you get it at the Speedy 40 size, it is a great way to have the keep all without the keep all price. So FYI, the keep all 45 as of now is $2,000. The keep all 40 is right now $1,720 if you get the bandolier version. This is a, tw this is a 30 though. But this, so Louis Vuitton Speedy is great for travel, great for sightseeing, it's great for the on-the-go mom. You can fit in, you know, diapers, wipes, binkies, sippies, anything you need in there. Get an organizer in it, it's perfect. I really feel like the Speedy 25 is the most kid-friendly bag. But if I had a choice, I would get the Speedy 25 and the Damier Bin pattern because it is just that it's sticky fingers proof. The, mom, the classic Speedy is hard to do handheld carry for me. I am a busy mom. I'm always on the go, always doing stuff. So I don't have time to lady lunch and have my handheld bag. I just, I don't. So the classic, this bag doesn't really see a lot of light. My bandolier version does see a lot. But with it getting hotter outside and spending more time outside, the Viketta leather will start to tan and darken. And you'll also know that it's darker at the handles because... I am holding it from here. So if you care about that and you don't like it being so dark compared to the rest of your leather, then that is a con for you. I will say that the Viketta leather does not wear as great unless you take care of it. But with any luxury item, you want to take care of it. So I've said before that it's a great starter piece and it is iconic. A lot of people are going to recognize this bag when you're wearing it. They're going to know this Louis Vuitton Speedy. They're going to have in their mind how much it costs, and that might be a good or bad thing for you. But that also means that it is not an exclusive bag. I picked this bag up for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. Not an exclusive bag at all, but it's a great way to dip your toe into the fashion house, see if you like what they have, and see if a Speedy's for you. Now, I would recommend, you know, do the classic. Start off, see how you like it, see if the handheld works stunt however you want to, but um, long term, it's not for me. So another thing, the Speedy, if you get the Viketta leather versus the Damier Bin, which is the treated leather, it might not age that well. As you see here, I have, you know, dark spots on the handle here. Um, you can get watermarks, there's some scratching here. The bag did not age well. Now I will say, I do not baby my bags. <laughs> You've seen some people, they get a luxury item, they're just like, oh my god. 
I baby my babies. <laughs> I don't baby my bags. So this bag goes wherever I go. And um, if you guys see my Instagram, I go everywhere. <laughs> so um, I don't feel like it's practical with kids, especially with a cat of leather, because um, I have a three-year-old. He has touched this with yucky jelly hands before. And I almost died a little on the inside because I'm just having to get that, that wear out. But it got a little dark around the handle after the jelly hands. But overall, it was okay. Now, I will say also, if you don't take care and condition your canvas and leather, you can have cracks along the zipper. Now, I noticed a tiny crack, and it is so minute. And with the dark print, I can't really see it, but I know that there is a crack on here along the zipper just because of the nature of the bag reaching in and out. It's an older bag, so that's going to happen. With canvas in general from the fashion house, it has been known to crack under extreme heat, extreme cold, just cracks because it's a fault in the canvas. The canvas can crack. So in the along the zipper, that might be an issue for you if you're looking for wear and tear. On the Neverfull though, um, the cracking happens different places because of the nature of the bag. But I'll do a video on that later. So also, my next con, this bag can be a bottomless pit. <laughs> So you'll see in this frame right here, this, there's no rhyme or reason to this bag. You have this tiny little pocket on the inside of the bag and then there's just space. <laughs> so that might be an issue for you if you want to have an organized bag. Um, I would recommend if you have to have your bag organized to get a bag or organizer. But I will also say if you get a bag organizer, the bag can look very boxy. I feel like the best thing about the Speedy 35, Speedy 40, is that bag slouch where it looks kind of like worn in, kind of a chic casual um, vibe that it goes for. I think that's the speedy. It is on the go. You are casual but bougie at the same time. It's just, you know, that's the vibe this bag gives me. But I will also say, with that vibe, this is a very easily recognizable bag. So if you're traveling to somewhere that you probably shouldn't be wearing a luxury item because you're worried about that, Keep that in mind. You want to, might want to wear a more understated bag. Or there are different understated luxury bags. If you want to have that luxury but not have it so much Louis Vuitton in your face, I'll tell you guys about different brands that you can use for that too. So, another con for me with this bag is it can become bulky. The reason you guys don't really see me carrying my Speedy 35 is because on my frame it looks like a duffel bag. And if I'm not in the duffel bag mood, I don't really want to carry a duffel bag. It looks big, it looks bulky, it gets in the way. I lean over my stroller to tend to my kids and I'm smacking kids in the face. Not a good look, not something that I really want to do. So if you want something that's a little more compact, Speedy 25 is the way to go. I think you guys are seeing which one is my favorite bag. But anyway, my final con, which I talked about, was staining on the, on the handles from the Vicetta leather. So, now we're going to get into pricing. Because you guys know Louis Vuitton just had another price increase. I think their third or fourth one during the pandemic. So I'll tell you guys the updated pricing for these bags. For the Speedy 25 Classic, you're going to look at $1,140 for this bag. If you get the bandolier version, you're looking at $1,650. So the bandolier, as you know, has leather down the sides and the double zippers. It's made more for carrying crossbody versus just putting rivets on the side. It is designed for carrying it without top handle. But... That's the price you'll have for that one. Speedy 30, 1160 in the classic version, and 1680 in the bandolier version like this one. And you guys already know the prints that you can get for that one. For your classic Speedy 35, you're looking at 1180 in price, or 1700 in the bandolier version. And then for your Speedy 40, if you're looking for the classic version that's just top handle, you're looking at $1,200 for the Speedy 40 and looking at $1,720 for the Bandolier version. Now, mind you, they have a nano version of the Speedy, and right now that is goes for $1,300. It is like a very itty-bitty petite, great for the micro bag person in your life. But I will also say, um, and for the big Speedy 40, it is huge. Like, if you see the Speedy 35, I'll do mod shots and everything. You can see how it looks on me. But it's a big bag. So the Speedy 40 um, is very big. It'd be great as a diaper bag. I feel like the 30, 35 is great for overnight, diaper bag. Um, you're going to be out all day and you don't have this bag in your hand. 
or even if you want to do a work bag top handle or bandolier version is great because it's pretty much a mini duffel bag. So thanks to the internet there are multiple ways to purchase this bag. You can go from different sites to Fashion File, Yogi's Closet, um, Rebag, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook groups which are a little bit better because people are in there are so persnickety about authentic bags they will call anything out. And so a good thing about that is that you can kind of set, get a set of eyes on it before you look at it if you can't really tell but I will say disclaimer if you guys saw my other video always get your bags authenticated if you don't know Louie if you don't know Chanel if you don't know Hermes find someone that does because stores don't authenticate because they want you to buy there um but definitely get your bags authenticated if you go under any route now I'll also say Poshmark is a great place to use to buy luxury goods because over $500 they will authenticate and regardless of what anyone else says I've always had a great experience on Poshmark over 500. I usually see the people that complain about Posh, and this is not sponsored, but they complain is that they bought something for under $500 and they got it and it was fake. Duh, you know, you, no one's gonna sell, you know, a Speedy 30 that they can get at least 1300 bucks for for $400. That just doesn't happen. Even if someone doesn't really know the brand, it's just not going to happen. Now you do have good deals, but you know, use your judgment. <laughs> so anyway, um, I also have some great small owned businesses that I will link on the blog that you can check out their pre-love selection. I have about three that I recommend that I've actually bought from. So all in all, guys, I hope this video helped you to understand a little bit about the Speedy, um, you know, pros, cons, where you can purchase that feature, and my thoughts about it as a mom and as someone that's always on the go all the time. I really feel like if I could pick any Speedy to be my favorite one, different, well, the Speedy 25 Bandolier, I would choose for just regular mom life. You're on the go, you're doing stuff, going to the grocery store, whatever you have to do, Speedy 25. Or even, yeah, Bandolier version, <laughs> because the classic version is just, it's not functional for me. Now, I will say, if you are a businesswoman and you like to really or man, and you really like to, you know, make a statement, have a statement bag, Speedy 35 is your thing. That is a boss bag, especially, I want to say, in the bandolier version, just the way the strap hangs off of it, you know, or even if you have a classic and just attach a strap like this, it looks so fashionable when you have this bag. But if you can't make your mind up the way I couldn't, and you're just like, okay, 25, 30, 35, 40, oh, this makes no sense to me, I just want something in the middle, Speedy 30. You, I've worn this bag to the zoo. I've had no issue with it. Um, it's a functional bag. Now I will say the wear and tear hasn't been to my to my liking on my other print bags, but this bag is a solid road dog. I've had this for three or four years, and the only thing I've noticed so far is a little bit of wear on the hardware here, but because it rubs. Because you know, as you saw earlier in the video, these are not brass anymore. They are gold plated. I think there is a speedy for everybody because it is a great starter piece. It is your like kind of dipping your toe in the luxury world and then you'll become a hand handbag addict like the rest of us. So guys, I hope that this video helped you to figure out what bag is right for you, whether it's speedy 25, 30, 35, or 40. And I hope this video was very informative as well and helped you maybe to make your decision or see if the speedy was for you or wasn't for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little history lesson in there too. And as always, wine fam, I hope your wine or your coffee is stronger than your kids. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.